Professors and graduate students at the University of Maine are pioneering ways to reduce a damaging impact from an earthquake. It's a process known as liquefaction. That's when intense shaking from an earthquake turns the solid ground into something more like soup. The researchers are using a natural bacteria already in the soil to try and stop this from happening. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us the research. Seeing the aftermath of an earthquake of magnitude 7.5, followed by a tsunami rocking parts of Indonesia in 2018, are images Aaron Gallant will never forget. Where you've seen this kill thousands of people. So it's a really acute uh, uh, event. It happens quickly, but when it does, it's, it's catastrophic. Galan, an associate professor of geotechnical engineering at the University of Maine, visited Indonesia with a team of experts gathering data to better understand the impact of extreme events. This week, he is in Oregon, working with researchers from Portland State University on a new method to fortify earthquake-prone soil. The region faces a potential nightmare unless work is done to stabilize the state's main fuel storage facility against a major earthquake, which will come sooner or later. The earthquake is going to occur. We don't know exactly when, but we know it's going to occur. The team injects nitrogen-rich compounds into wells at the test site near Portland's airport. And so what that does is accelerate this natural denitrification process that generates the gas. This gas-filled soil acts like a shock absorber resulting in a lower risk of liquefaction when shaking happens during an earthquake causing the ground to liquefy. Teams from both universities are utilizing nearly one million dollars from the National Science Foundation to see if this new method could be a solution to protecting critical infrastructure. Gallant is working on the project with Luis Sombrano, an assistant civil and environmental engineering professor at UMaine. We're really attacking it here at UMaine by trying to understand how long will the gas be there. Sombrano will analyze data collected from the site. The research is also personal for him, as he lost many friends following a major earthquake in his native Ecuador in 2016. That key infrastructure needs to at least, uh, we need to at least ensure that we'll be functioning during a disaster like this. Upon returning to Maine, scientists will be testing soil samples from Oregon using a pressurized machine that can simulate an earthquake. Effectively, what we do is vary uh, the applied load to simulate different earthquake magnitudes. The goal is to buffer vulnerable areas against earthquakes and make the method cost effective and accessible worldwide in the next five to ten years. In Orono, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.